Damn, you think it's all good? What you did was unforgivable. Lying to my damn face, got you feeling cynical. I was at the pinnacle. What was going wrong? Fucking knew it all along. Damn, you think it's all good. It was crazy hot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the finale of MCW Village Dream Week Digital Media Matches. This is just like we had for the MCW World, a what if match. This is a triple threat match involving Steve, your MCW Village heavy, not heavy, oh my gosh, MCW Village general manager facing off against Mr. Merv and the MCW Village heavyweight champion, Trashley Pelican. This match is a what if Steve ended up getting into this match facing off against Trashley and Mr. Merv for the MCW World Village Heavyweight Championship. We're going to find out the what if right about now. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing damage control from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 268 pounds, Steve. Steve, your MCW Village general manager wanting to really bite into you and let you see what would happen if he was put into a heavyweight title match with Trashley and Mr. Merv. The statement made by Steve was he was not pinned during their tag team match. It was Upgrade's fault. Upgrade ruining yet another one of his opportunities. He loves his heathenistic brother Upgrade, but he knows that Upgrade is costing him to not be able to be at the top of his game that he wants to be at. Steve wants gold and Steve wants it ASAP. He'll do anything at this point to make sure that he gets himself an MCW Village Heavyweight Championship around his waist, including being the general manager and making it impossible for anybody to get an opportunity other than himself. That is, unless, of course, you know, this guy beats him. From Area 51, weighing in at 258 pounds, Mr. Minotaur. Mr. Merv, the unidentified... Thing. Person, man, woman, thing, baby? He's the unthinkable baby? I know, I'm reach I'm pulling Richie straws. He's getting a rare opportunity facing off against his opponent at the Summer Bash relatively early. Trying to scope out what Trashley can do. If you guys remember from MCW season one, Mr. Merv is the only member of, of then DGMW, now Aces. The only member of that entire group that was able to beat Trashley Pelican. This is, is essentially his opportunity to prove that he was the top member then and is still the top member now. The silent assassin, the man known as Sly Booties. Unidentified foot things inbound. Watch your back. Mr. Murph's about to attack. Ooh, look at Trashley. Sporting some new gear tonight. And from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, weighing in at 219 pounds, the Zone Heavyweight Champion, Ashley Peltier. Trashley Pelican, me, member of Team Pink. Looks like she's spotting some pink and some gold here tonight, along with her, her, her Village Heavyweight Championship, of course. Trashley showing off these new digs. Absolutely looking stunning. Let's see what your heavyweight champion can do here tonight in a triple threat match. Steve, Merv, Trashley. The bell is a rungin'. And look at this, Merv and Trashley easily go after each other. Trashley knows that Merv's her opponent at the Summer Bash. She's not even gonna, she's gonna keep an eye on Steve, but she's not gonna care that much about Steve. Her focus is go after Merv, keep Merv down. Look at that instantly. These two, the animosity these two weirdly have 
They, they haven't fought since season one. They fought side by side just a few weeks ago. And now, just quickly, the animosity is there in full effect. Merv over the top rope. And now Steve has Trashley up on his shoulders. And using everybody's favorite tag team partner, the top rope. Mr. Merv now dragging Steve over to the ropes. And looks like Merv has a plan for Steve and that top rope. Man, everybody really loves that tag team partner. Man, if we ever get the assign the uh, top rope to a wrestling contract, I think somebody would be really upset that they have that as their tag team partner and someone else doesn't. Steve leaving the ring, chasing after Mr. Murphy rolled out. And look at this, Steve instantly using the effects of the triple threat to his advantage. Picking up some steel steps, kind of making that like an omen towards Trashley, it looked like. Mr. Merv wanted to get something. I think he wanted to hit Steve upside the head with something. Trashley now coming outside the ring with them. This is where triple threats start to get very dangerous. There are no count outs. There are disqual no disqualifications. Oh, Trashley with another spine buster straight to Merv. Oh, suplex Steve. And now, Mr. Merv taking a neck breaker shrink to Steve. And now the animosity continues. Trashley, Falcon Arrow. But Steve running in. Look at this. Steve's playing smart. Let these two fight and then pick the bones. Steve, what was it like he was to pick the bones of Mr. Merv throwing Trashley down the ring? Oh my god. Look at this. Oh, Trashley ain't happy he just did that to her. A camera guy really goodly angling this this shot here. Really goodly angling a shot. I love how I said that. Mr. Merv down. But look at this, Steve. Oh man. Steve reversing it, dropping a crossbody on it to Mr. Merv. Steve keeping things interesting, launching Trashley down the side, up against a barricade, and now sending Mr. Merv the other way. Trying to keep some distance between the two, but Trashley ready to go for Steve, drop kicking him. Down he goes. Trashley noticing Merv coming right at her. Oh, stopping the assault with the steel steps before it even got a chance to happen. Oh, wait, Steve got the capitalization of that. Oh, Hurricane Rana. And now Mr. Merv doing what he does best, propping up the crowd and making him on his side. Crashly now, face buster, sit down. And now Steve quickly going after Trashley. Bouncing off the ropes, down he goes. Up he goes. And look at this, around he goes. And an arm drag takedown. Mr. Merv, though, quickly answering, and now Trashley has her hands full of the unidentified thing. The UF... Wait. Unidentified thing. Oh, wait, that would just be I... Uh, U-T. Unidentified thing. And quickly went for a pin account. I got distracted. And now, quickly, Steve is back in the ring and trying to pick apart the bones. Oh, gosh! Steve didn't know what he wanted to do, but quickly decided once to go after Trashley. Hurricane Rana arm drag, Mr. Merv taking down Steve. Holy shit. Steve in trouble, Mr. Merv using that top turnbuckle. Trashley, oh my god, a huge clothesline taking down Mr. Merv. Trash, oh, trash hook. Mr. Merv slowed down, let the pin happen, and bumped into the referee. Uh-oh. Anytime the referee gets bumped, it seems like he has a vendetta against every wrestler. Well, they're going for a pin. Oh, wait a minute. He realized quickly Steve is standing up and stopped going for the pin immediately. Trashly, though, taking down Steve and now focusing her sights on her summer bash opponent. Quickly a neck breaker, taking Mr. Merv off his feet. 
Mr. Merv, up goes Trashley, down goes Trashley. Trashley giving the boys a chance to fall. Uh oh. Trashley has what's known as a Class A felony in her hands. And Mr. Merv isn't letting her have the felony. Uh oh, Trashley and Steve working together. Oh gosh, Trashley just, Steve just holding Mr. Merv for Trashley and nailing a beautiful Insiguri on Mr. Merv. Steve trying to get a handful of Trashley. Merv out of the ring, not even blinking his eyes. Meanwhile, Trashley being dragged to the center of the ring. And Steve has a sledgehammer. Oh. That is a no bueno. Oh. Mr. Merv whipping Steve in the corner and then shot blocking Trashley. Mr. Merv trying to, oh God. This is why she's your village heavyweight champion. Oh, beautiful super kick and went for a big boot, missed it a little bit and undershot it. Now Mr. Merv bounce off the ropes and now Trashley. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Merv reverses and dropping Trashley down. Steve now. Has an issue with Mr. Merv up on the shoulders, unidentified slam. Hits it, nailed it perfectly. Unidentified slam. It might be done for Steve. Trashley with a leg drop to Steve. Oh, another chop block by Mr. Merv. And now going for a pin on Trashley. Right in front of Steve, who's dazed. Only a one count. Oh, God. Oh, Mr. Merv's up. Down he goes. Spirit bomb by Steve. Only a two count. Trashley going underneath the ring. Has a kendo stick. Oh, Steve throwing Mr. Merv out of the ring. Rolling out of the ring himself. Oh, he's not even focusing on Trashley. Oh, Trashley got in his way. Trashley just completely derailing Steve's momentum. Steve rolling through a sunset foot powerbomb onto Trashley on the outside of the ring while Mr. Merv rolling Steve back inside of the ring. Oh, Mr. Merv moving those ring steps. That could be pro. He just wanted to move them. He didn't want to use them. And Steve with a tope suicita. Quickly, though, Trashley rolling Steve down the ringside and throwing Mr. Merv back inside. Oh, went for a big boot. Didn't get all of it. Got it slightly on the block that Steve had. Northern Lights suplex from Steve. And now yelling at Trashley to stay down. And she didn't listen. Pancake. And there we go. Big trash detector. Oh, Red Breaker, Mr. Merv, starting to fly around the ring. I think I saw one Trashley's teeth fly out there. I think Mr. Merv hit Trashley so hard a tooth flew out. Steve throwing Mr. Merv back in the ring, right? Feeding him to Trashley. Trashley now with the scissors kick. Trying to get a pin right in front of Steve. Very cocky of Trashley. Oh, Steve. Oh, gosh. Steve just, just shocks Trashley over the top rope of the clothesline. Steve, single leg drop kick. Trashley has a sledgehammer. Steve, go over the, throw the stop lock. Go over the stop lock and quickly Trashley stops that stop lock from being a thing. Merv, I think Merv might be out for a little bit. Trashley, big hip toss. Steve inviting Trashley out to the drink side with her. But Trashley doesn't care. She's going for an abdominal. Oh, whoa, whoa. She was going for an abdominal stretch. Mr. Merv, full energy now. Taking Trashley down. Not even one count. Steve ready to stop that from happening. 
Okay, you two. Stop, stop. Oh! Steve dropping down. A little bit of a stretch lock. Steve kicking Trashley midsection. Dropping down with a brain buster. Uh oh, Steve. This is where the heathen kicks in to full gear. Oh, went for the stop block again, but Trashley ready for it. Dropping Steve on his ass. And now Trashley all alone with Sir Merv. Scissors kick. If Trashley does that at the Summer Bash, she successfully defends her title. Mr. Merv and Trashley are now one on one and one officially. Holy shit. Trashley, your MCW Village Heavyweight Champion, ending MCW Dream Week digital media matches with a huge victory over her opponent at the Summer Bash. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for this awesome, fun week. We'll try to have more of these more often in the future, but for now, thank you so much for hanging out. We will see you guys later. Peace.